Today's midweek devotion about the Spirit is taken from Luke 12, 11, and 12, which says, And when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say. But the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Three weeks ago, we looked at a passage from Matthew 12, 31 and 32 that spoke about blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. The parallel passage in Luke 12, 8 through 10 serves as a contrasting context for the passage that I just read. The choice comes clearly into focus. Speaking against the Holy Spirit is the unforgivable sin. However, if a person honors Jesus and yields to the sanctifying and leading work of the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit will speak for you. He, Holy Spirit, will be your teacher, bringing to remembrance the word you have read and guarded in your heart. Additionally, the Holy Spirit will help you to com in the communication process, giving you the appropriate words to say at just the right time. The context of Holy Spirit teaching and guiding us in what to say in a timely manner is one of persecution. Ironically, in what would seem to be the most anxiety-producing situation, we are told not to worry about what to say in our own defense. This is good news. You see, it's not us to, up to us to figure out what to say. Our job is to simply be in tune. If our hearts are yielded and expectant, then the Holy Spirit will correctly direct us and our words in such a way that glorifies Jesus. And honoring Christ, in spite of negative circumstances, is ultimately the most excellent action and good for us. It's my hope that if you or I should face a crisis of persecution, we will have the appropriate words to say because of the work of the Spirit. Blessings to you, in Jesus' name.